Zanella comes up with a deflection from Steve Brown. Zanella looking for his goal. He's got one. Zanella. That is Mike Zanella with his first goal in a Whalers top in his fourth game. And it's 1-0 Whalers. 9-21 left to go in the first period. Zanella gets that uh, first, first point on the night for the uh, Danbury Whalers at 10-39 uh, uh, of the first period. Going back to start that goal for Danbury. Remember, Dayton was going on a two-on-one. Pelche to Skinner, and Skinner tried to find Pelche again on the far side, looking for the Demons' first goal. But Steve Brown was the one, pokes it away. He will find Zanella, and Zanella takes it to the house, and he puts the visitors up one nothing. and Danbury flicks it into section 30. And a fan will pick it up. Steve Brown with the assist. Steve Brown now with six. Zanella with his first in a Whalers top, and it's 1-0 Danbury, 9.15 left to go in our first period. Center point, Pelche towards Van Weinsberg and the slide, and he scores! Robert Van Weinsberg with the goal on a power play and the Demons fans here at Hera within 48 hours go to Boston's Bistro and Pub for a free power play pretzel. And the media relations guy for the Whalers, Tommy Pecoraro, was leaning over my shoulder. He wanted to hear that. We're tied at one, Robert Van Weinsberg with his ninth goal on the season and the Demons with their eighth on a power play. We're tied at one. Bit in their offensive zone. Another big hit, drawing the oohs and ahs of this crowd here. Now Dustin Skinner leads it on a one on two. Around the red line he goes, and right now we got Ronsberg fighting in the center ice. He's got David Lund down on his knees and Ronsberg lands on top of him. He got a knife. Ronsberg got a nice right, uh, right cross in there. And they're still going at it a little bit. Seth Ronsberg versus David Lund. These gentlemen play in the Federal Hockey League in 2012-2013. Ronsberg hands up in the air and the Demons fans respond with glorious amounts of cheer. So Ronsberg and Lund will serve five for fighting. Lund's being shown the Zamboni doors. Ronsberg went to the box. 2.03 left to go in our first period, tied at one. This has been a very fun game to call for myself. I, I know, Doug, you're having fun. My hey. voice is starting to crack out, <laughs> though, so. Hey, anytime you get a rivalry game like this, it doesn't matter who it is, you're always gonna get that, uh, you're always gonna get it, uh, get those push the cuffs going and hard hitting and somebody's not gonna like it. Cause those, uh, Ron, uh, Ronsberg and Lund were going at it pretty much. Uh, or uh, no, it was Pat. Uh, uh, it was David Lund versus Seth Ronsberg, yeah, but, center ice. Yeah, but before that, uh, Ronsberg uh, slashed uh, Patch and Lund took a, took a, uh, Offense to that, and he, that's, what, uh, that's how that thing got started. And the Demons were rolling with the puck. It was Skinner ahead of two Whalers, and his destination was ultimately Mike Brown, but we had a breakout of fist on the logo with Dayton Seth Ronsberg and Danbury's David Lund. Two minutes have been put on the board against Dayton. Looks like Danbury might be going on a power play. I think they called it. Will pick up the loose puck. Zanella spins it around near faceoff circle. U turns it back to the near point and bounces in. That's the deflection as firing in was Chris Taps Nemanis. And the Whalers take a 2 1 lead with 15 25 left to go in the second period. That took a left hand turn in the slot, and Mackinsella focused on the right hand side, watches it bounce towards his left in. Not sure if Nemanis is gonna get the goal for that. If he does, that's his first. I believe he's just gonna get his third assist on the season. We'll have to see how it plays out. 
But it's two to one Whalers, 15-25 left to go in the second period. Danbury with their second lead of the game. Down the neutral zone, we're back to five on five hockey. Five on five hockey, 12-35 left to go in the second. Two to one Danbury. Demons back, player shot, score! So stop me if you heard this one. Brandon Blair, a defenseman for the Dayton Demons, his third game back after his three game suspension. He gets it in the slot, flicks it, and he's now got back, two back, two back games with a goal. We're tied at two, 12-28 left to go in the second. Back Karansi to Solaryev. Ilya Solaryev, now to the slot, Richter, an open shot and a put back power play goal for the Whalers. And Danbury leads again three to two with 9.03 left to go in the second. Brandon Blair is now out of the box. Yeah, what that penalty was was uh, two minutes, or that four minutes was being served. Uh, two of that was being served by Blair and the other ones are coincidental minors. So that's why, uh, that's why Blair was in there just serving two minutes for, uh, for Dayton. I believe Carancy had that power play goal for the Whalers. 9.03 left to go in the second. Danbury on top for the third time tonight at a 3-2 score. Grid, he dodged in the boards. Pass taken away. Here's Solaryev. Solaryev twists and turns around. Nice job keeping the puck in his possession. Shot by DeLong. Score! Ian DeLong scores right in the door of Mack and Sella. For DeLong, that's his ninth. He now leads the team in goals. And the Danbury Whalers have their biggest lead of the game. It's 4-2 with 7.08 left to go in the second. And a fun... That's not going to be icing as TJ Constant, he can't get a good handle on the puck as August Aiken now. Aiken flicks it high in the air, off to deflection, moving it forward. And Tim Riccio will try to box off Vlad Gavrik. Now the Demons roll back in the neutral zone. August Aiken up for Ronsberg. Ronsberg heads back towards the bench, stays on the ice. Oh. Aiken scores! <laughs> if my voice will actually let me say it, Aiken scores from the near hand side. He picks up his fifth goal. And it's a 4-3 Danbury lead, 5.43 left to go in the third. Boy, that's going to be a highlight clip. I hope gets to... <laughs> that was... Uh, hope so. I hope it gets redubbed. You're going to oh, have to play. You're going to have to replay that one. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> the Stick and Steve Brown neutralizes it. Here's Morin's shot. It bounces off the right shoulder of Mike Brown. Let's come now. Shoved off the puck was Brandon Blair. He cuts off 55. Right now the puck underneath Liscom as Hicks still trying to get at it. Blair pushed around and game. right now Blair shoved away from the linesman. He's dropped the gloves. And well, Brandon Blair's glove just went into section 21. There's a penalty right there. So right now, Bland, Brandon Blair is without a glove. And somebody on the on the uh, bench is trying to go after him. There's a there's stick a going hockey, out. There's a goalie stick knocked around. Tempers are flaring as we're entering the sunsetting moments of the third period. There's going to be some penalties against Danbury. There definitely be some penalties. There, if there, if there's not, uh, I hate to say it, but this guy shouldn't even be refereeing. Because it's blatant right in front of him. Way to keep it neutral, Doug. I know. No, well, no, I'm, I, I would say the same thing if he if it was on the uh, reverse. I would say the same thing. Right now, Steve Brown talking to Constantine. He points with his left hand. That, that's ridiculous. There was a penalty, unsportsmanlike conduct, when they th tossed the, uh, the glove into the, uh, into the uh, seat. That's not right. And Coach Trevor Karazovic calling for one of the linesmen. 
Brian Marks instead, Kinsella has went back to the bench. Four to three, Danbury, but the Demons with a six attacker. And David Lund scores an empty netter to give the Whalers a five to three lead with a minute six left in the third. Lund, just shy of the attacking zone, neutral zone, dead center, empty net, and the Whalers have a two goal lead again. And for Lund, that will be his first goal of 2014-2015 in his ninth game. The captain scores, and the Whalers on top, five to three. Wings it and Kinsella Alvis Cree slows it down, chips it near hand side. Dan Morin with three seconds. He will aim it towards Mike Brown. It will hit off the far corner. That's the game. Your final score tonight the Danbury Whalers five and the Dayton Demons three. Dayton falls to eight, two, and one, and their five game winning streak is a thing of the past. And Danbury's winning streak continues to seven now. They are eight, two, and one as well. So both these teams with an eight, two, and one record. Danbury wins five to three. As both teams look to exit the ice, the Demons on the logo acknowledging the fans like they always do. Always a fan-friendly bunch. Always appreciative of the people that come out to Hare Arena. We'll take a break and then we'll go over the Premier Health three stars of the game. You're listening to the Gem City Sports Network and you're watching live on FHL Live presented to you by Point Streak. <laughs> 